Harold here with WP Booker and today I'm gonna cover the custom post types uh, settings page and how we use it to connect Booker's backend to our WordPress backend alright so as you can see here on this page we have a series of categories uh, their subcategories and finally the service or treatment that you've uh, created now if you go to the back end of Booker you'll see that there are direct correlations between the services that you've created uh, the categories and the services and what we pull up here so if you were to go and click on the custom post types settings page option on your menu let's see here you'll see it loading so right now it's in the process of loading all the treatments from the back end of Booker and uh, basically in real time creating uh, the entire interface for you to use so now as you can see, uh, next to every one of these uh, categories, subcategories, and treatments, you have these check boxes. So uh, these boxes, in effect, uh, control whether or not uh, these categories will be seen either as uh, Booker services categories, right, or whether or not the treatments will be seen as Booker treatments. So if we were to go to the, uh, let's see here, Booker Treatments page specifically, you'll see that there is nothing present yet. So uh, for those of you who are um, familiar with WordPress, you'll understand that this is a custom post type administrative page, and it's telling you that there are no custom post types currently available. So first thing we'll do is actually create the category page subcategory page and services page so we click every single checkbox right for this particular uh, set of uh, categories and treatments and then we say save changes and update and it'll tell you that uh, life pages may be affected so now you see that it's done so more than likely the treatment has been created so yes so now if you see on this treatments page you actually have the endermology treatment that uh, we uh, just uh, made live uh, present as a custom post type so if we were to go to the back end you'll see that it's actually uh, created and if we were to go uh, to actually view it you'll see uh, that we actually have a page currently made okay so now that we understand uh, how they link together from the back end of Booker to your WordPress back end uh, let's go through some of the uh, built-in treatment page options uh, that we've designed so if you look through uh, some of these um, uh, I guess sections you'll see that uh, we have all of the information that we have currently uh, inputted into the Booker software present on your own site. So uh, right now it's telling you what the description is, the price that you've created, uh, and the current uh, uh, currency that you're using. So if uh, we were to go in the back here and actually change up, uh, say something as simple as the price, Let's take a look at endomology here. All right, review it. All right, let's edit it. All right, let's look at, take a look here. And then let's change the price from 120 to 125, all right? Uh, let's take a look here and then save. All right, if we were to now reboot this page, all right, so that way it uh, actually pulls the data again from the back end of Booker. Let's take a look at what endomology has for us. You'll see now that the price has changed from 120 to 125. All right, perfect. So now if you were to go and save it again, the, let's see here, 
this. This page will actually reflect the change that you've just created. So let's go back here and let's discuss the actual options that were implemented into the uh, the, the treatment uh, options area. Okay, so if you were to look here, you see here that we have the featured image URL uh, functionality. So uh, as you would imagine, all it is is uh, an image that is going to be featured prominently on the display page that uh, the end user will be able to see immediately once visiting the site. So uh, if you'd like to actually uh, take an image directly from your WordPress gallery, you could do that. And right here we have a quick way to preview, make sure that it's present uh, and working appropriately. Uh, you could also uh, add an image using nothing more than a URL. So if you were to say copy and paste something from another uh, image provider or Google, something like that, then you could actually just paste it in there and then preview it. And as you can see right then and there, that image is ready to go. So we'll use that for the time being. Now, uh, besides that, we have a built-in gallery feature that we've uh, implemented where you could um, add multiple uh, images uh, and videos uh, to a slider. Uh, that then uh, the user will go through and uh, gain more information about the service that you are providing them. So let's go through it and add a couple of options here. So first things first, maybe we'll add uh, this image, okay, which is nice. And then we'll add uh, another one from an external link. And by external, I mean it's not present on your particular server, but something that you pulled from someplace else. You could paste it in there as well. Let's see if that works. Yeah, it does. Uh, so now, as you can see, uh, we already have two uh, items. We can move them around all right, using these uh, cursors right here. Um, and then let's add some videos just to make sure that we see how it works. So right now, it's uh, set up to accept any YouTube video, all right, uh, or any Vimeo video. So we're gonna add both of them, all right, into this uh, input right here. So here's YouTube, and let's go with video, Vimeo as well. Let's go here. So uh, let's do a quick preview to make sure that it's live and working from Vimeo itself. Let's see what we got here. Ah, okay, and yes, it is working. Wonderful. So let's check that out. If we were to go and uh, preview YouTube, let's see that video working. Oh, well, I could only watch on YouTube. So uh, this was a video that we randomly t uh, chosen. Let's go ahead and uh, remove this for now. Uh, see, this is uh, another feature set where you can just delete that gallery item for now, and then we'll add uh, another one later. So in, uh, in this case, what we could do now is save it and check to see how it uh, shows up in the front end. All right, so save. Live pages may be affected, it's okay. Now we go here. And let's reset the page. All right. This right here is the uh, featured image that you've uh, inputted. All right. You could always click on it to enlarge it. All right. Uh, so we've done that. So that way the person could get uh, more depth, uh, zoomed in uh, look into the image. Then let's see if we go further down. You have the. Um, the images and the video that you just uh, inputted. Okay, so if we were to go through them, you could slide through them. So this is the video, the Vimeo video that we've used, and these are the uh, images that you've created. So of course, you could always enlarge them if the uh, user wants to see it at its max width and height, right? So right now, that's just the video playing. All right, beautifully. All right, so excellent. Now, 
as you've already seen in our previous videos, hopefully we've actually uh, created a uh, an interface uh, that we like to call the Book Now interface that allows the client to book immediately from your site uh, without having to use external links to go on to uh, another website to, uh, to link. So to, to, to book, I should say. So uh, as you can see now, I make it a default parameter to show the uh, the book now uh, interface uh, at, from uh, the back end. So now if you were to look here on this endermology, endermology page, you could see that we actually auto populate the uh, book now interface and the client could go directly to uh, booking a uh, an appointment right then and there. So the speed with which um, they'll go through the entire booking process is increased um, and uh, because it correlates directly to what you've actually created uh, on the back end of Booker software there's a lot of consistency which will allow uh, your r uh, ranking to go up because of the increased uh, SEO so uh, whenever you have the person on your page for uh, an extended period of time uh, Google likes that so you'll be able to do uh, you'll be able to rank higher uh, consequently uh, allowing you to book more when people are searching for you so these are some really quick call to action so if they just hop onto the page you could easily just go click here and it'll bring them right to booking the appointment and this allows them to book a series of uh, treatments so we'll get into that a little later but uh, for now, I just wanted to show you how the custom post types work. Um, one last thing I'd like to show is that you also have the opportunity to create uh, breadcrumbs, uh, which link back to the subcategory and category pages. Now, this is helpful for SEO, and it allows uh, the user to actually have a uh, easier way to navigate through your site. So you could go through uh, other uh, body services if they'd like, or other anti-cellulite treatments uh, if they'd like, uh, without having to worry about how to go back. It's, uh, it's a quick way to uh, bring the uh, user around your site uh, without any confusion. So. Uh, really quick in order to showcase how that works uh, maybe in a more uh, illustrative fashion we could go ahead and uh, create body scrubs and body wraps uh, as subcategories and now we're going to actually create a uh, let's see here the sweet escape body scrub okay as a treatment so let's see here for body wrap let's do the uh, seaweed body wrap okay so now all those things are live let's go and save it all right beautiful let's go ahead and reload the page all right see how all those are actually live now we go to a the Booker Services page now to see how the uh, the categories are and the subcategories. So you can see here that uh, you actually have the subcategories of body services as the anti cellulite treatment, uh, body scrub, and body wrap. So for anybody who's actually very familiar with uh, WordPress, you'll you'll know the importance of categorizing in this way and uh, the effectiveness for uh, translating into uh, easy easy navigation for your site, that kind of thing. So uh, really quick, let's see what we have here. So now we got the seaweed body wrap going on here. So now when we go to our endermology page, all right, if you were to go to body services, use a higher resolution now yeah so now you can go to the C read body wrap image and page to try to go directly to the seaweed body wrap so now it's already pre-populated so that your end user could actually uh, book immediately and go through the entire process so let's do that really quickly we'll go and book one for let's see Saturday um, 
Let's see what uh, who's working. Tanya, she seems very nice. Let's go through that. Let me sign in. So now, if you, as you can see, we're already ready to get checked out. And uh, let's see, go review the details. So February the 17th, 1 p.m., ready to go. Confirm that you understand what's happening. All right, and just like that, the reservation is complete. So uh, as you can see, we created a page uh, for Seaweed Body Wrap. Uh, basically instantly uh, from the back end here um, without having to worry about uh, writing it out consistently from the back end of Booker to our back end uh, having it be uh, confusing for the user uh, when they're actually trying to book so you've effectively created a seamless uh, connection between um, Booker software and your WordPress site. So obviously, if you were to change a theme, it still persists because this is a plugin. So no matter what uh, try, kind of um, appearance you'd like, uh, all your functionality is going to remain uh, there. So uh, anyway, thank you for listening. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave them at uh, wpbooker.com, and uh, we like to hear from you. Uh, if you have any um, requests, uh, any kind of um, frequently asked questions that you'd like uh, us to post, then uh, we'll do that as well. Uh, in any case, uh, have a good uh, have a good day, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.